Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to get irradiance and weather data from the Solcast platform. I will show you how to do it manually directly from the website and through API calls. To get started, we need to create a new account. Visit the Solcast website. The link can be found in the description of the video. Click on free sign up. Here, choose the type of account you are interested in. I will choose researcher because I am a student. In this step, I need to provide information about my university and some personal information. I will do this and I will come back. After creating the account, now we can log in. in. Click on the historical and TMY tab. Then click on create a new time series request. Now we are ready to get the data. First, specify the latitude and longitude. Then click on add location. Note that you can add up to 20 locations. After that, you can change the time frequency, the output format, and the variables you want to have in your data set. I will choose 5 minutes as the time frequency, CSV as an output format, and I will change the start date as well as the end date. I will choose, let's say, 2022, January 1, and here, let's go to 2023, January the 1st. Down below, you can see how many requests are going to be used here, in this example, we are going to use 12 requests and in total, you have 600 requests. And one request is equivalent to one month of data. Because here I have specified the start date to be January the 1st and the end date to be January the 1st of 2023. Here we have one year, which is equivalent to 12 months. That's why we have 12 requests that are going to be consumed. Let's download the data. Click on the download data now button. Okay, now we can click on this icon to download the data. Okay, let's extract it. And as you can see, here is the CSV file. Let's double click on it to see how the data looks like. Okay, so as you can see, we have here the air temperature, DNI and GHI. And here you have the period end as well as the period. And as you can see here, I have chosen five minutes as the frequency. You can see that here it starts with five minutes, then 10, then 15, etc. And here, how many rows we have? We have a lot. We are done with the first part of getting the data. Now, let's move to the second part and show you how to use their API. First, click on your profile picture then click on your API key. Now, all you need to do is to copy your API key. So click on copy key, the copy key button. Now open your IDE and create a new .env file and add this line, Sol Solcast API key. And here paste, and here make sure to paste the API key that you have copied from the website. Now close the file, we, don't, we no longer need it. Make sure that you have pandas, requests, and python.env packages installed. If this is not the case, then run the following commands. pip install pandas, after that pip install requests, and finally pip install python-.env. These are all the dependencies that we will use. Now let's create a new notebook, call it simple request. And let's start by reading the API key. To do this, we need to use OS as well as the .env package. You can see that here we are using the same key that we have defined here in this .env file. Run this, this cell to see if this is working. So choose your environment if you have created a new one. Let's print this key variable. Okay, great. So this is working. Let's continue. After that, 
we will use the requests library to make the API request. But first of all, let's define the parameters that are going to be used when calling the API. So first of all, we need to specify the latitude and longitude. Then we need to specify the start date and the duration in days. After that, we are going to specify the output format as well as the time zone and the parameters that we want to have in our data set. If you want to read more about the parameters that you can tweak, I highly suggest you to go to the API documentation. Let me show you. You can see that this is the docs for the API and here you can click on historic and go to irradiance and weather historic because this is what I am showing you in this video. And here are the parameters that I was talking about. You can see that here we have the latitude, the longitude, the azimuth, etc. So you can come here and read about them. Here they are describing each one of the parameters that you need, that you can specify or that you can tweak if you want. Okay, let's move on. Let's create a new cell. After that, we need to pass the API key in the, in the headers when making the get request. This is why I'm creating this dictionary and let's see where to use it. Now I can import the requests library. This is the URL or the endpoint. And as you can see, I am passing all the parameters that I have added here. And you can see that I am passing the headers when making the get request. Let's run this cell and see if everything will work with no problems. Okay, let's print response to see if we got some errors or not. Good, we didn't get any errors. 200 means that we got a good response. To show the result as a data frame, I, I will be using pandas. To do that, we can get the, the data using the .json method and here let me show you. We have just one key returned so we can get the data. You can see that here if I type in dot keys, we have just one key and this is what I use to get the data. And I am using the data frame class to create my data frame. You can see that here uh, we got the data you can see that this data frame contains one month of data because this is what Solcast is offering. If you want to get one or two years of data, you can make more than one call and concatenate the data. To achieve this, you can make a for loop and just change the start date variable. Let's create a new notebook to illustrate this. Let's call it multiple requests. I have copied everything we have done before just so in time and to show you what are the things that you need to change. I will run the first cells because uh, they are not going to change but I will take all the cells that are here and I will delete them because I don't need them. And I will delete the start date too. Now let's start by defining the start and end dates and let's use pandas to generate a range of dates with the frequency set to months. If I run this cell, you can see that monthly days contains a list that starts from the start date and increases by month to reach the end date. Now we are ready to make the API calls. I have created a new variable called responses to store the response for each month. And I have added a for loop to loop over the monthly days. I am changing the start variable and passing it to the URL. Finally, I will make the get request and wait for the execution. This is going to take some time because I am making 12 requests. After that, I am creating a, an empty data frame and then I am looping over the responses and concatenating the data. Finally, I will reset the index and show the head of the data frame. Let's print the shape. As you can see, we have a lot more data than before. If I come here and print the shape, you can see that here we have only, uh, let's say 1500 rows, but here we have well over 20,000, which means that this method is working. We have arrived at the end of this video. And I have made 
a better version for the notebooks that I have showed you before. So please, if you want to look at the solution, you can find this on my GitHub. The link can be found in the description. And I just want to thank the Solcast team for giving us researchers free access to the data. And I hope that I have succeeded in sharing how to get access to it. Thank you all.